What up boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today we're gonna to show you how to do test-driven development, or TDD for short, inside of a strongly typed functional language. In this case, it's gonna be Elm. Now when you're doing TDD, the way it works is you write the tests first, then you write the bare minimum amount of code with not a lot of thought or architecture to make it pass. And then the third step is you refactor, because you have that test to know the original API that you did worked. And the whole point of this is to result in better code, both in the short term and long term. But it has a lot of other features that it kind of elucidates. One in particular is that you're forced to use the API that you create. And in a functional language, that's the functions that you expose from a module, since they don't have things in Elm like private and protected. You can only practice good TDD if you have a reasonable requirements, like maybe you know 70% of what you want to do. Our case, we've got about 70% and it's nice because it has some optional things at the bottom. That's really poignant because everything you can get in these requirements is at CyberDojo and it's a series of problems that are just small enough to practice TDD with, but they have the breadth that things could slightly change and your API might slightly become different. Very similar to Adam to Code if you've ever done that before. So great, great place to test your test-driven development skills. So we've got requirements, which means we can think about our implementation, write the test first to figure out how we'd want it to work, and then go implement it. And then if we don't like it, we can think about how to make it faster or better after the fact. So that's how you do it, and that's what we're gonna cover today.